to start talking? Yeah, fantastic. So, uh, let me take you live for a second. Hang on, Randall, we'll figure this one out. <clears throat> Give me a minute. Okay. Just let us know. You guys are live. Good afternoon, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a beautiful game between Cal Poly and San Diego State here in San Diego. My name is Seth Trujillo, and my partner beside me, Saeed, we are going to have ourselves a wonderful game full of competition. San Diego State in the black, Cal Poly in the green and white. Saeed, how excited are you for today? I'm very excited. This is the rivalry, rivalry week. Cal Poly, you always mark that schedule or that uh, game at the beginning of the year on your schedule. It's the only one you look forward to, or it's the one you look forward to the most. Yeah, Mustangs and Aztecs definitely have something to prove against each other. I did get a chance to talk to the coaches on both sides beforehand. Cal Poly said they really wanted to focus on the little details. They want to have a well-balanced offense and defense. And when I asked San Diego State, they said their three key things are intensity, intensity, and intensity. We're going to see if they're able to start off on a strong foot here as the referee blows the whistle and kickoff has begun. A nice high kick, a little bit of miscommunication. San Diego State takes it right into contact. Looks like they're going to start off with a big run by their prop. There you go, let the big boys get going. That's right, set the tone there. Oh, there we are. If San Diego State's able to continue to fall forward in those tackles. That is something that's going to be able to persist throughout the game successfully. Another run by Big Cedric. That's right. There we go. They are starting to gain a little bit of momentum. Taken in by Christian Sinclair. That's right. Oh, ball is on the ground, oh, though. Ball is out. On, off. Right here. Yep. Yeah. Knock on by San Diego State. Scrum to Cal Poly. That was not too bad of a run of play by State. They just got to keep control of the ball. Yeah, certainly. Now, though, there is Cal Poly getting the ball in San Diego State territory. Let's see what they're able to mount on offense and what San Diego State's able to maintain on defense. That's, that's, the, run, that's the risk you run when you uh, play through the hands in your own territory. Yeah. you got to make sure you're sure-handed, confident. Yes, and I feel like the player was running a little bit solo. Hopefully San Diego State's able to get closer in those rucks. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh, an oh, center tackle. run with a quick offload. Pot. Possible extra, extra roll. Referee doesn't see it. He lets it go. Ball Another is out. Oh. San Diego State's coming up very hard. Very yes, Cal Poly's catching the ball flat-footed. Let's see if they're able to change the pace. Oh, and a knock, knock on. on. Advantage Poly to Black. Over by, picked up by Joey Lidsey, the captain. Ref still playing advantage. Oh. Here we are. Oh. oh. Off the chest. Looks like we're probably going to come back to the first knock on. Never mind. Oh, no, Referee says advantage not. over with the kick. Open field opportunity. One juke. A couple people missed. Here we are. Oh, that should be a turnover. Possible turnover attempt. And referee turnover. allows it. Oh, with the ball. Yes, the there the we go. Not Penalty for not releasing the ball off the initial tackle. Oh. We have a little bit of love in here between the two of them. They're just getting acquainted. Yes. Here we are. San Diego State really starting to build some stuff up here. Yeah, they're playing with confidence, which yes. is what you need. And Cal Poly did not start off super hot. They're a little bit flat-footed on their offense, and their defense has fallen a little bit. Let's see if they're able to change that. It's going to be a line-out to San Diego State. One thing to note with San Diego State is they are only playing with a roster of 17. They've been decimated by injuries. So this will be definitely a test of their will and fortitude. I do agree. Here we go with an easy line out attempt. The rain is a little bit of a factor. Ooh. Ball slides through the hand. Backwards. Scrum half play. The hands were a little high. There's a big counter option available if they can make it happen. Cal Poly notices it. Take it up by the prop, Kellen Murphy. That's right. Another right big, forward. strong run. Forcing the defense to, back a step. Ball out. Looks like the scores went away. There we go. Not bad at all. Mm. Turnover by Cal Poly, though. Yes. Oh, no. Raking. Raking. Yes, yes. 
Unfortunate for Cal Poly, I do agree with the call though. San Jose does have to be careful though, they have to get more people into that ruck, otherwise Cal Poly is going to be able to capitalize on that. But with back-to-back -back penalties, San Diego State is going to take an attempt at goal. For those who are unfamiliar with the sport of rugby, this is going to be three points, just like a field goal is in football. The kick going to be taken by Sean Saunders. Yes, he's a, actually the resident captain. Irishman on, That's the, right. on the team. And team captain today. This is a good idea for multiple reasons. For instance, San Diego State has a bit more size, especially in their props. And, you know, a break to go for a kick is really going to get their props, Kellen and Cedric, the opportunity to take a quick little breather, rest themselves up, and it lets San Diego State control the game better. Kick is up. 35 he meter like kick. Power, but he does, no, he does oh. not have it. Cal Poly running up with it. I think they're going to kick. Yep. Kick Wide right. Kick looks oh. like it's going straight out of bounds. That is a beautiful oh. kick for touch by, right there by Cal Poly. Fantastic kick by Cal Poly. It's a little unfortunate that San Diego State's goalposts are actually 10 meters back at the base of the try line instead of the front of the try line. That kid could have made it if it was as such. They throw it a little front. Inside attempt throw. Ball is lost. Let's see if Cal Poly can now mount a counterattack. San Diego State trying to squash it immediately. No one home back there. Opportunity down the back. Ooh, a little bit of winger running by Bobby Zagnot. San Diego State buried in their backfield. Oh, Looks like a knock, knock on. on. Oh, yes. knock unfortunate. On the or, sorry, flanker. Usually the hooker, Andrew Mesquera. So in the span of a couple minutes, Cal Poly is able to turn the dial on San Diego State. And now it's a scrum within the 22 meter line of San Diego State. Here we are, let's see what can happen. Cal Poly's driving it backwards. Good push by Cal Poly, and they're a bit smaller of a side. I'd expect a penalty by now. Yes, definitely advantage, but here we go. Quick, they're quick, quick close to the try line. Oh, and try Referee Cal awards Poly. it. Try right in front of the goalpost. Should be easy chip in. That's right. San Diego State should really work on tightening up that scrum. They have the size, so they should be able to win those scrums, but Cal Poly's technique was beautiful in that. Here we are. I think the issue is uh, SDSU spending too much time with ball in hand in their own half. They got to be comfortable with kicking, exiting, getting it out of there, playing a dangerous game, trying to run it through the hands within the 22. Yes, I, I do agree. The ball has touched the ground a fair amount when San Diego's been in possession. Not necessarily always being a knock on, but yeah. it is a problem that San Diego State would look to improve as the half beat continues. And they've dominated possession so far, so for them to be down is not good. Yes, yeah, so let's look if they are able to turn that around. 7-0 right now. San Diego State fighting for behind. Mustangs looking to mount on an attack. Here we go. That ball is not going to go 10. They have the opportunity for a kick or a scrum. They're going to elect for a scrum. That's a smart decision after what we just saw. And for the fans, we are now going to get a in-the-middle opportunity to see and assess what San Diego State is doing in this scrum and what Cal Poly is doing as well. For the scrummaging technique, for those who are unfamiliar with what the front rowers do, you want to try and get your knees about six inches off of the ground. The closer you are and the more horizontal you are, 
the more you can hit that horizontal squat. That was a better scrum between the two of them. Oh, oh no, the ball is flipped. Oh, oh. He misses it. We're gonna blame the slippery unlucky, field for that uh, one. Unlucky bounce. That's right, if he had picked up that ball, he was gone. I think that's a testament to SCSU's line speed right now. They are coming up hard and yes, fast. Yes, they definitely are. Cal Pauly getting it through the hands, getting to the big boys out back. Ooh. A nice little offload. Now the 10, throwing Ooh. out to the wing. Coming down the sideline. Great pace. Still oh. in bounds, intercepted. Taken by SCSU. Ooh. Yes. That is going to be a forward pass, so it will be a scrum to Cal Poly. Slightly unfortunate. Cal Poly there looking very dangerous. Really trying to hit those offloads as they're going into a tackle. That's a great opportunity because everyone is focused on the tackle, and as such, there is opportunity outside of that. Great run out there by the winger. And if I'm San Diego, I'm trying to make those tackles possibly a little higher around that ball so that they're unable to unload the ball. That's something that a lot of the top teams are working towards right now because the offload game is very powerful. But that's a fine line to watch between it, it tackling, certainly is. tackling at the chest and wrapping around the neck. That's right. If you're going to make that decision, you got to be confident. Good engage. Cal Poly is able to get under. Better hold by SCSU. And we're out. Oh, Ooh, nice gap taken by the, by the center. That is going to be a try in the corner. Mm. That was a sensational crashing line by that outside center. Defense was just a half step behind, and in that half step, they were able to find the gap and make a score away in the corner. That's as good as a set piece can get. You get a nice, solid platform from the scrum and the forwards. Nice clean passing through the backs, and then just someone finds a gap and you I gets on his high horse. I completely agree for those high school coaches who are watching. An outside center crashing in off of a set piece is one of the most imperative and in initial techniques that you should be teaching your backs. He is also the kicker as well, so let's see if... He's able to notch that in. From the, 15. the ball is high, oh. and it is good. Doing it all himself. That's right. That's a solo seven-pointer right there. Here we are, San Diego State. Probably feeling a little bit down after back-to-back -back scores. They really need to think about getting that ball back in their hand, playing their game for a few phases, wearing down the poly defense, and going back to what they were doing earlier. By Sean. Yeah, it's a much better kick. Here we go. Going on the blind side. Ball taken up by the try scoring man. San Diego State, it's four. It's really looking to stop that game line. Here we have a kick option. It's a nice high kick. Soaring in the air. Not picked up. Here we are, Cal Poly gaining 30 meters. Yeah, not quite understanding Ooh, that decision. That is something that is very dangerous. That should be a penalty. Yes, the referee caught it from a wrong angle because that is a yellow, possibly red card. High throw, good juke moves by the winger. What you need from your wing to be able to cut back inside. Yes, yeah, certainly. Oh, Great come up. By Max Conahey. That's right, that is the fly half. You don't necessarily want to see the fly half coming up to make all the tackles. Yeah. Hopefully the forwards are able to take the brunt of it. Here's a kick option available. No one was back there. Taken by the fullback, Christian Sinclair. Turn Here we around. are. He's running alone, though. Oh. Good support by the Aztecs. They're able to make something happen. Mm. Oh, but Ball has no been secure. lost. Oh, but it is knocked on by Cal Poly. That's right, that's right. So the reason why uh, myself and Saeed 
made an audible gasp earlier is because currently with the rules for rugby, one cannot extend out the forearm in a hit towards an individual, especially towards the face or neck area. So that is considered a dangerous play, and um, that player does want to be careful to not get caught doing that. Here we are, oh, scrum to San Diego State, by Cal Poly. forced backwards, Ooh. and that is looking like it could possibly Cal Poly's ball. Referee wants to slow it down. He could want to give San Diego State another attempt at the scrum. Yeah, I think he's looking to reset it. Yeah, it seems like he's talking to Cal Poly as if maybe they're pushing him before the ball's in. Might be. Looks like it was possibly a warning to Cal Poly. So one thing I want to go back to is that was interesting by Christian Sinclair in choosing to not attempt to catch the ball, but instead letting it hit off his knee straight into a Cal Poly player. Yes, he did have to sprint from a fair distance away, so it was an awkward grab, but... Another big push by Cal Poly. They're able to steal it. Now they're going to run it through the backs. Nice little pop-off, but a good tackle by Christian yes, Sinclair. Yes, and, and good Sean job by Sean to get there. Unfortunately, he got cleared away initially. Yes. Quick pick up. They have the numbers. Could not get the ball out to the winger to get the score. Good tackle by San Diego State. That was a nice top and tail. That's right. Cal Poly, though, able to squeeze in on the weak side to get a smooth try. San Diego State starting off strong, but Cal Poly is really flexing their muscles. Now they are creating game line, and every single tackle, it seems to be gaining meters. It's all coming off the scrum. I mean, a lot of had, that was SDC scrum. Kyle Pauly was able to steal it, and then a couple phases into the try zone. I completely agree. San Diego State falling back in multiple facets of the game right now. They really need to tighten up. Think about falling forward in offense and on defense. Here we go with the kick again. It's looking straight. And it is 21-2-0 favoring Cal Poly. They're making it look very smooth. Yes. They are looking clinical. They are looking professional. Here we go. When this ball is in the midfield, this does seem like San Diego State's greatest opportunity. But once again, they have not been able to mount their offense over the past 10 minutes, I would say. It seems that if they do get the ball in hand, it's only for a phase or two, which is definitely a struggle. Constantly playing defense is very tiring and very frustrating. Let's see if they're able to make something happen here. A kick deeper that should force Cal Poly to kick it. But the way they're playing, I'd be confident with taking it out. That's oh, right. charge down by State. Here we go. A nice block attempt. Cal Poly feeling and pressure, and two, they got the San ball Diego stolen. State. San Diego State. Quick tap by Sean Saunders. Looking to make something Green happen. Step out. Support is there. Great job by Sean to recognize that he really yeah. needs to make something happen right here. Yeah. San Diego State needs to pick up the pace. No support there. It was taken by Cal Poly. Now the ball's loose. Oh, Everyone. failed attempt to kick. Yeah. He's able to recover it. Over by the sidelines, San Diego State needs to keep this ball at the very least buried in Cal Poly's 22. Yeah. They have to mount and they have to create a frenzied attack. I'd expect Cal Poly to exit. Yes, certainly. Oh, big Good hit. tackle. By Jack Foat. Keep the attacking by San Diego State. Cal Poly not looking very comfortable here, trying to regain their composure. It looks like it's going to be a kick back by the scrum half. Oh, box kick. Oh, but it comes off the it was low part of his foot. It was low. Looks like it hit a San Diego State player. And the referee deems it Cal towards Cal Poly. Unfortunate for San Diego State, but they can keep mounting the pressure here. A full line out for Cal Poly leaves a lot of creativity options. 
I'm thinking midfield. Yep, that's correct. Into a mall attempt. Senio State did join in, so now we got some pushing. An open gap has formed. There's no attempt to tackle. And the 14 just walks right on in. That is a very fast winger, possibly the fastest person on the field. And what happened with San Diego State closing into that mall is the backs themselves didn't recognize that they needed to close in as well. And the winger, who is originally on the weak side, did a quick loop around, forced himself into the play. And everyone else was, once again, just a half second behind. Great heads-up play by Cal Poly. Probably have been practicing that. You almost feel like San Diego State doesn't know what to do in the case of a mall. San Diego State did halt the ball very quickly, but that may not have been the goal by Cal Poly at all. Simply to suck them into that mall may have been the goal, and it was quite successful one way or another. Now it is 28-0. The kicker really upping his percentage right now. Looking quite good. San Diego State, very, very difficult right now, trying to make something happen. They need to get it going. If they want to just have some fun today. Here we go. Nice That's a beautiful be kick. Very competitive. Good tackle by yep. Joey Litzy. Good force contact. Nice little forward ball. Up in the air. Easy tackle. Looks like there's an injury on the yeah, field. Yeah, Sean looking a little slow getting up. And another break by Cal Poly. Not by their number 15. Oh, slippery grass. Got him. The old turf monster. Tackle made by Bobby Zanovich. Going go weak to, side. Yeah. Good work by San Diego State. They did not have the numbers there, so they were able to make something happen out of nothing. Great yeah. tackle by Matthew Blake. The offload option was on. Good tackle by Cedric. Taking his time to roll away means that San Diego State can get back into position. This is his line speed is good. And I think they heard you earlier when you told them about tackling a little high to <laughs> prevent the offload. They have not, Cal Poly has not, they've looked for it, but they have not been able to hit one in the past few minutes. Yes, certainly. San Diego State needs to keep working on coming forward. That's a good drive by Cal Poly. Oh, good hit by the Good nine. tackle. Here's an offload. Two on one situation. Do they have the outside covered? Oh, no, they do not. They do not. Another try to Cal Poly under the post. That's, that's very rough there. That is a bit of a demoralizing play right there where things were working so well, but all Cal Poly needs is just a half step and they're gone. Well, I think the one thing SSU can build off of in that piece of play is the physicality. They're coming up hard. Yep. They're making their hits. They're competing at the breakdown. It's just it's a communication thing. It all comes down to communication. Certainly. And with the score more than likely being 35-0 here, San Diego State can simply just say, hey, let's hit the reset button. Let's just play our game. Let's hit our fine points. We talked about intensity. Let's just play that. Hopefully that's what their captain and their coaches are going to be talking about as we get closer to halftime. It definitely is something that teams need to think about because these games can get pretty demoralizing and you need to find light in any way, shape, or form that you can in moments like this. So hopefully they're able to make it happen. Also need SSU, some of their leaders, to start making plays, hyping the guys up. They seem a little quiet right now. Certainly, certainly. It is best to always lead from the front. Joey is working his hardest right there. You saw Absolutely. him make, yeah, make that just, diving attempt a few plays in Cal Poly's territory. Up. But Taka here looking to make the first set. Good sidestep. Once again, with the forearm out, that's a very dangerous play. He needs to be careful. Oh. 
Oh, good prop run, creating opportunity. Good tackle by Bobby. Right now, Cal Poly just, oh, except for right then, but Cal Poly <laughs> just going into contact on the front foot, falling yep. forward. Yeah, very methodical. Everything is planned out. It looks like they're in their heads two, three phases ahead. They know what's about to happen before it happens. That's very powerful. This person's not releasing the ball. That's, oh, yeah, turnover should be Sean. stolen by San Diego State. Here Picked we go. Up. Now San Diego State needs to work on playing their game plan. This ball is on the ground. It's getting a little ugly. Taken up by Braden Young. Oh, but a good double tackle by Kyle Strong Pauly. run. Strong hit as well. Ball's Ooh, on the ground. Slight knock, knock on. on. Referee did notice it, and it's going to be a scrum to Cal Poly. This sort of heavy hitting game is something that we really like to see as fans and even as players. San Diego State's not shy to it. Cal Poly is down to get a little dirty now that they have themselves a firm lead. Let's see if they continue to do it. Another scrum attempt here. Is Cal Poly going to look to drive or are they going to possibly do a inside crack to the center? I feel like they're going to try and go extra wide here. Yes. Nice little 15 wrap around. There we are. The wing Lots down. of movements by the backs. There's a few gaps on the inside. Hopefully those forwards can close it down. Ooh, inside pop. pop. Inside. Beautiful. Defense is there. Yes, yeah, San Diego State needs to create some hype right now. This is an opportunity. There's oh, a penalty not for not away. rolling away. Stepping back, 10, Cal Poly. We're going to just slow it down, play their game plan. They got the lead. They don't have much that they need to do. They can practice their line out once again. San Diego State should keep an eye out for that mall attempt. Absolutely. That especially, could then be faked. Especially that close to the try line. Certainly. If I'm a few of those leaders, Joey, Andrew Mosqueda, I'd be looking to not necessarily join the mall immediately, but more to keep an eye on what's happening. In and around it. That's right. Plays off of a mall are sensational currently. Cal Poly backs also look to have a game plan going out wide. An honest mall attempt stifled. Oh, into, oh. Once again, man. the turf. Possibly some longer victim. studs is needed. Good stop, but they're on the goal line. They need to cover the pillar. They fail to, and referee held says held up. Great work by San Diego State. They really need to work that pillar A, B gap. Well, that's the thing with college players, right? They all wear soccer cleats thinking they're going to be able to cut all like that. That's right. This turf does not show the most love to individuals as well, no, so it, does not. it is always difficult. Here we are with a goal line dropout. Nice deep to the fullback. What's he going to try and create a oh. quick chip kick? There's no one back there yet. Jack Fowlock collects it. There we go. Nice strong forward run. Where's the support? Picked up by Cedric. Nice pick and go. There by the we big are. Man. Let's get a few phases going if I'm San Diego State. Even if you're buried inside your 22, let's just stop being on defense. That's the main thing here. Oh, nice cut in. Good by juke Mistrella. move. Solid grab. Good clear outs by San Diego State. Yeah, definitely playing. running with more support. They're now. playing their game, and that's what needs to be said. There are gap opportunities against Cal Poly. Oh, but the ball has been stripped yes. by Noah Murphy, and it's a nice counter attack by Cal Ooh. Poly. Nice big hit by Sean. And unfortunately, it looks like it's a try around the outside for San Diego State. They were making it happen, but once again, a small handling error. Spending too much time with ball in their own half. Yep, Cal Poly definitely making opportunity of the mistakes that were made. And that's something that's very important for rugby teams. If you are able to capitalize on a small mistake by the other team, that's going to really be a game-winning setup for you. Great plays by Cal Poly. Good job being smooth, methodical, and patient with it. You get a sense that all the Cal Poly players are on the same page at yes. any given moment. Yes, certainly. They haven't been communicating a ton, but they definitely seem to be on some sort of telepathic mind reading setup. That comes from a lot of team bonding, a lot of long practices together, and a lot of synergy.
San Diego State should be celebrating how they did get a few good things out of this. Noticing some weaknesses. Hopefully kick is no good. So it, that's his first missed one of the day. Yes, I believe it's going to be 42-0 right now. As we get close to this halftime, San Diego State's goal should really just to be finish this half on a strong note. Finish this half with pride. Get some rest. Lick the wounds. Come back into the second half. Ready to hit. Pick off by Captain Sean. Here we are. That ball's just sitting in the air. Hard catch in actuality. Once again, that forearm hit is dangerous. Ball comes out quickly for Cal Poly. They're looking to go wide. San Diego State was not ready. Ball hits the ground, though. They have an opportunity. Here we are. Cal Poly's now on the back foot. San Diego State's probably going to want to mount up the pressure. Increasing tempo. Another good tackle. Up again. It's going to be a kick. This time, players back there. That's right. Christian St. Clair with some open space. He decides oh. to hit a kick back. Looking for a little bit of space. Yep. Cal Poly. Coming back. Nice little banana kick right into touch. Smooth, that was a beautiful consistent, kick. straight where it needed to be. San Diego State definitely missed out on that opportunity. The kicking game is one of the most important things in rugby right now. A lot of teams are kicking about 15% of the time that they have possession at the professional level. And Cal Poly demonstrating why that is so important. Here we are, San Diego line out. Oh, overthrow taken yes, by Cal Poly. Not the straightest either, right into Cal Poly's hands. Cal Poly looks like Ooh. they're taken a little off guard by that. Jack Foet seems to have a small knee injury. Not looking super hot right there. Cal Poly gaining meters, hand over fist. Offsides, advantage for. Cal Poly. Nice run. Oh, but it is stripped. I guess the ref thought yeah. that they had enough advantage on that run. Yes, this referee does seem to give up advantage rather easily. That's all right for San Diego State in this situation. Ball goes out of bounds. I believe it's going to be a line out to Cal Poly. Uh, looks like it's a line out to San Diego State. San Diego State, pardon me. We're going to stop the clock real quick to assess this injury for Jack. Big loss for SSU. He's one of their leading tacklers. Yes, I believe he was the jumper, so I would presume that this possibly happened from the jump. Hopefully, it is simply a tweak of the knee. He wants to tough it out. He's walking off on his own strength. That's a lot of heart right there. But he is going to need some time away at the very least. Once again, SSU is only playing with 17 <laughs> rostered men. So be interested to see, interesting to see where Coach Merrill goes with this substitution or if he makes a substitution. Does not look like he will. I believe it was already made. Oh. Yes, yes. I believe uh, Tyler has been placed in. Forgive me. Quick try by Cal Poly there. Not the prettiest of lineouts. And it simply fell into Cal Poly's hands. They took two steps and dotted the ball down. Well, if I'm Cal Poly going into half, I'm feeling very, very happy with the way they've been playing. A lot of go forward ball, cohesion. Certainly. Can't ask for a better first half. Yeah, the Cal Poly side is cracking a few jokes. They're smiling a lot. None of them are breathing super heavy. They've just been able to play their game. A smooth kick as well. That's going to be 47. They're able to play their game. And in playing their game, they are able to be winning on their terms. 
now for them, they're just going to execute their game plan a little bit better, slow it down, maybe work on a few details. Just like what the coach was saying, practice the little things. San Diego State coming up at different paces here to the halfway line for the kickoff. Fatigue has to be setting in. Yes, certainly. They're doing a lot of running out here. Yeah, especially for these props. Cedric and Kellen, not, not small by any means or standards. That is a big man right there. It definitely takes a lot of energy for one to be able to keep up like that. And it looks like he's going to have to be playing all game too. So yeah. that's going to be a struggle for those props. Oh, Looks like they faked the yep. game. Here we go. And lost the ball. Yes. Up by Aiden Whitcomb. San Diego the State. Support needs to be there. The moment they see an opportunity, they jump on. You can see their blood starting to pump. They're getting yeah. excited once again. This is what you want to see if you're San Diego State. Nice tip pass from Braden and Joey. Down. Good clear out. And yeah, referee said you're coming. Over. That's right. Yeah. Taken by Taka. No one yep. there, though. He's going solo, unfortunately. And that is the scrum half as well. It's not yeah. what you want to see. Not release. Oh. Ooh, another penalty for not releasing Taka got lucky there yep not releasing what is the penalty call taken up by Braden able to shed a few tackles here we go San Diego State getting excited getting energized what are they able to do right now taken up by Sean oh he's there. in solo yeah Pops good support Joey rep deemed that backwards that's right referee maybe being a little nice at San Diego State right now that's all right with them oh a nice cut by a Mosqueda look for the offload oh yep. and then a high tackle that's right Cap Holly really making multiple mistakes, left, right, and Take center. Taken by Braden. Finds a little half gap shown. If San Diego's able to start this in this half, forgive me, with a goal, with a try, that's going to be sensational for them. They need to gain forward momentum. They need to catch this ball with pace. Looks like there's another injury on the field for Braden, I believe. Oh, and another penalty. Here we go. Two SDSU. Four penalties against Cal Poly in the span of a minute and a half, two minutes. And three of them were diving over. I think it's safe to say the ref's going to have a conversation with their captain about it. Yeah. Certainly. That just shows lack of discipline right there. And um, if I'm the referee, I may start handing out a card if that continues to happen. It's not that Cal Poly is doing anything overtly wrong. They've been having themselves a great game. But we cannot have back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back penalties you almost, here. You almost get the sense that they're a little too comfortable with this lead. Certainly. Oh, Ooh. big hit. That definitely should revitalize Cal Poly. Let's see if it does. Big, strong run by Cedric, the prop. And Ooh, a try. try. To the prop, big Cedric. Great work by wow. San Diego State. Cedric moving faster than he ever did before. I've seen him run. I have not seen him run faster than when he's done sprints. I think that's that's huge for SSU. Yes. I think that I think now they have faith in themselves. They can believe in themselves. Like, hey, we can take this ball. We can take it down the field. Yes. Cal Poly is. They can bleed. Yes, certainly. And I think if SSU can build off of that, then it might turn into a competitive game. That is a confidence booster. Sean does seem to be dealing with a little bit of a limp here as he gets himself situated. There is an injury on the Cal Poly player. But San Diego State does have something to celebrate, finally. One thing I always would tell players in games like these, when back when I was playing, is I would tell them if they can score 47 or however many, then we can too. It's not, you know? That's right. They just have to have the confidence, the belief in each other. Certainly. And it, this try happened very quickly. San Diego State continued to put Cal Poly on the back foot, and that was in the span of five minutes. So if San Diego State could continue to do this, there's no saying they're down and out. It is definitely going to be an uphill challenge. 47 to 5 currently is a very, very, very difficult task to ask. And if I'm this coach for Cal Poly, I'm looking to have them hone back in, tighten up, not commit four penalties in a row once again. It's nice to see once SSU was finally able to go through three or four phases, build, up, build through the forwards, work through the backs to be rewarded, and it goes to show that they are capable of doing it. They just have to have the, the consistency with it. Certainly. I completely agree. This is going to be a long game for San Diego State, though. They are, once again, suffering with numbers today. Sean's Sean. kick. Oh, just to the left. That's right. A little bit inside. Had the distance. Yes, we got a couple minutes left. Let's see if they're able to mount anything up before the end of the half. 
Or let's see if Cal Poly is able to extend the lead. Sean is really, really not looking super hot right now, but they have no subs. There's nothing that can be done. And already playing one man down. Exactly. Here we go. Kick off. That ball is a beautiful oh, kick right up in the air. Ball. Oh, but that should be a knock on. Yeah, That's right. Yeah. Tried to hit it backwards, but it came off the hand yeah. forward. Yeah, not enough, not enough wrist strength. But it is a good uh, play by Cal Poly. There was only one individual who jumped up in the air right there, and so that's something you can think about if you have to kick off again. They are presumably kicking off in the second half, so yes, that is something to ponder. Here we go. SSU just needs to have a good scrum right here. That's right. Just go through phase play. Don't have to score. Don't have to make the big play. Certainly. The first time you touch the ball. I'm looking at the San Diego State back. Sean's touching his knee. He needs to move himself to the outside here. Bobby, the winger, cannot rely upon him right now. Did not get his head in. Was Cedric the prop's job. Referee just wants to hone in the techniques. He wants to figure out what's going wrong. And yep. the ball was not in, and yet Capali was pushing them backwards. So. Yeah, exactly. And you get a sense that Cal Poly is feeling themselves. They're very confident Certainly. In themselves, especially at scrum time. Ex uh, they have every right to be right now. Yeah, exactly. They're looking very strong in the scrum. Ball out quick. Right Here through we the are. hand. A little flat-footed by Moza, but he's able to break one tackle. That's right. Still stays up. Going to ground on his terms. Ball taken by Joey. Good Support strong is run. There. Advantage. To SDSU. Looks like it was presumably offsides. Taken in by Big Cedric. Here we go. Ooh, high tackle. High tackle. Here we are. And once again, these penalties are mounting up. This referee is very kind to Cal Poly currently. I've seen other referees start to hand out cards, start to issue loud warnings. That's something that you don't want to see. Here we go. Presumably a kick out of bounds to see if this winger is able to do anything about it. Ooh. Ooh. Still in, and, and unfortunately uh, it touched out. Side judge does not raise his flag, though, so we are in a little bit of an awkward stage right now. <laughs> Slight miscommunication between the two parties. And the side judge did run into the player as well. That's always going to be awkward. Line out to San Diego State right in front of us. Let's see what they're able to create here. Ooh, taken by Cal yep. Poly. No changes were made by San Diego State. Le allowed Cal Poly to simply just jump straight in front. Good tackle by San Diego State. They should keep their eye out for Ooh, being offside. Be Ball's on the ground. On. Here we are. We're fighting for the ball. It's a Greco-Roman lookalike. We're just going to go to a scrum, and that's going to end in halftime. San Diego State has some things to celebrate there. Cal Poly has a lot to celebrate, though. San Diego State needs to lick their wounds. They need to hydrate. They need to get that knee looked out by Sean. And they need to get some rest. We will be back here shortly. Thank you all for watching. Thank you.
Here we are. If I'm Cal Poly, I wanted to slow down this game. There's no need to get super animated. That's what San Diego State wants, you know? San Diego wants to get themselves nice and dirty, nice and intense. Cal Poly should really keep that polished, clean, professional even. And ball is out. Strong run by the winger. But you run into a bunch of centers. That's never going to end too well. A little high. Referee did not have the right angle to catch that, though. Here we go. San Diego's er looking to work through the big boys. With that's the right. Goes, that's and right. Is awarded. Quick few phases by Cal Poly. Really good work on their part. San Diego State needs to come up hard. The closer that you get to your try line, the more enthusiastic you need to be to defend and to come up hard, especially when you see that there's a pick and goes coming. They needed to tighten up. And one of the main reasons for this is because we see with this kick, it's going to be uh, conducted right in front of the goal line, or sorry, the goal post, and that makes it significantly more easier. If you want to get scored on, if you have to get scored on, you'd like it to be scored on the outside because the individual does have to kick from that angle. Fifty-four to five now, favoring Cal Poly. I guess we still have no sound. Is the sound on for us? You are now. Okay, fantastic. No worries. Here we are. If you did not catch any of the sound earlier, it is currently 54 to 5, favoring Cal Poly. Seth and Saeed here looking to finish the second half. Cal Poly looking to just take it up and get into contact. That's right. Ball is out. Ooh, Through the hands, slight knock on. knock on. Yeah. Here we go. Scrum to San Diego State in Cal Poly territory. Let's what? see if. Yes. I was going to say, one thing about Cal Poly that's interesting is most of the time when a team gets a big lead, they try to start playing the field position game. Certainly. And you just don't get a sense from, from that from Cal Poly. They did not too many kicks, play it through the hands. Yeah. Very interesting tactic. Now some subs coming on. Complete, Replacement at hooker. Completely agree. They may not be playing with as much enthusiasm as if the game was still tied, but they definitely are not showing many signs of being massively ahead. Stronger scrum from San Diego State. Ball is out. We're going out through the backs here. Just straight through the hands, it's looking like. Max deciding to take it in for himself. Good solid gain. We're extending out all the way here. It seems that there was a change at 10. Christian right. Sinclair now playing 10. Max McConaughey playing in the um, playing at outside center. I think that's to give Sean some time now playing at fullback. Very understandable. We do have a turnover by Cal Poly. Cedric slow to get up, very slow. In a lot of pain. Yes, he certainly is in a lot of pain. The ball is still going out wide to Cal Poly. San Diego State is reeling from behind. There's a kick up in the air. Beautiful opportunity for Cal Poly. Ball is caught. There's not much space. He falls for a second, but he's through a gap. Sean, very explosive. Absolutely. Had the chance to offload there. That's all right. They secure the ruck. Referee did not like the state of Cedric what Cedric was in. Sean eight. himself is getting up a little slowly. Two SSU players on the deck. Yes, and once again, there are no subs. You can tell by the body language of the SSU players, they are tired. Yes, completely understandable. Playing defense is, is exhausting. Cedric really not looking good here. Sean himself suffering. Looks like the athletic trainer wants to force him off the field. Yes, it looks like that's going to be it for Sean here today. 
and from the look on Cedric and just his body language and everything, it seems as though he is also coming on. It is definitely it. It looks like we do have a sub that's going to be coming on in the future, I believe. It's Junior Ben Surdy. That's right. Ben, a utility player himself. He's played nine. He's played flank. He's played inside center, outside center. This is a nice guy to have on the team. Yeah, and he's a great motivator. Um, if anyone has ever seen or heard any San Diego State rugby games, he is quite possibly the loudest rugby player I've ever met. That guy can definitely raise the decibels. And he's a good emotional player, really good spark plug that could be used for San Diego State. This break here is probably going to help San Diego State get a rebreather, get everything else, but you're without your prop. I assume that we're going to have no contest scrums, which actually benefits San Diego State now at this point. Yeah. But it's never a good sign to see such a big guy with an injury like that. Oh. It's taken a village to help him up. There we are, looking very fragile on that right leg. Yeah, it looks like either a knee or ankle. Yes, I wish nothing but the best for him. And that's that's one of the difficult tasks about not having enough players when it comes to your big guys. Because the more tired you get, the more likely you are to get injured. And it definitely can be very scary for the big guys. Nothing but well wishes for him. San Diego State, seeing what they're able to switch it up for. It's going to be 54 to 5. I believe they're going to be playing 14 to 15 players. No one left on the bench for San Diego State. That's right. That's right. San Diego State rocking with 14. Cal Poly. Well, actually, SSU still can contest in the scrum. They still have eight. I would presume, though, that since there is no one who is prop, they would simply not contest and if I was the team captain whoever is now replacing Sean as team captain I would say yeah I would say no contest scrums they do decide yeah. upon this it's just for safety reasons yeah. here we are ball is out Good most are running straight Mo, through to individuals that's something you like to see. We're going to see a kick here by Christian St. Clair. High, ball. very com competitive ball. Yep. Pop back by Cal Poly. That's yes, nice slap back. Big tackle by Emmett. That's right. Now Coming up SSU with tempo. Forcing Cal Poly on their oh, Ooh. but the 15 finds a gap. Take a step inside. Floor is back wet. Inside. Here we go. Offload option. There. Is he able to dot that ball down? He Ooh. was. That's another try to Cal Poly. Yes. And really that started off with... I see someone found some cowbell. It started off with San Diego State not getting the best of kicks right there. It was competitive in the kick, but you generally want it to be deeper. Yeah. Especially as you are getting the ball essentially off of a scrum. And if I'm San Diego State, I'm playing 14 versus 15, I would probably want to just maintain ball hand. Playing defense when you're down an individual is never enjoyable. Kick is good, 61-2-5. San Diego State's moving forward, though. They're jogging back to their position. They're calling for the ball. Game might be as good as over, but San Diego State wants to play the game on their terms. And that's what's most important here. Got about 20 minutes left. Yep, Cal Poly with the reception. Let's see what they're going to mount. Looks like we're going to probably have a kick here. Use the wind as a factor. Big Beautiful kick sailing kick. in the air. Bobby caught the ball sideways, so he does not knock it on. So to take it in Takes it in. A little high. Referee does not mind it, though. We're going back with the counter option. Inside that's pop. Up. Oh, good offload. offload. Here we go. This is what San Diego wants to do. Try and match the Cal Poly ideas. Looking for offloads is always going to be difficult. Ben stepping in. Starting off with a Making sure to warm up those shoulders. Strong run. That's right. There we are. Attempted contest there. We're going with another counter reset option. 
Moza taking it into contact. That's right, and still in bounds. Oh, beautiful, beautiful Great work by Mosa. Yes. Here we ball. go. Tipped back by Mosquito to Braden. Planned, of course. Beautiful communication. That's right. right. By Aiden. Yep, there was the shooter. the shooter. That's right, and Aiden said, just oh, hold on to it. Braden with the... Flick, here we go. San Diego State's mounting some stuff, and they're down a person as well. This now is beautiful stuff. With a little bit of swagger. That's right, and that's what needs to be felt. Cal Poly should be totally okay with this. They don't mind getting some defense. They shouldn't mind getting some defensive practice in yeah. right now. Coming Shooters up. coming up very quickly. That is a substitute, so you know he does have to be a little bit careful. Referee did catch an offsides penalty against him. Now they're playing the weak side, and they, they have the outside the option. Hand. Yeah, Braden just saw the ball, and he went. Offsides penalty was called. Here we go. Taka pushing the pace. Ooh. Big collision. Yep. Once again, this is what we talked about. San Diego State wants that intensity. Okay. Oh, that is high. Yep, that is Bad a little high. Played. Christian rolling on through. Support is there. Honestly, if I'm the referee, this has to be the fourth high tackle. I'm looking to hand a card out, but let San Diego State Ball not the pressure. Oh, but Lost backwards. Cal Poly now with ball in hand. I presume a kick is going to happen here. Yep. Yep. Box kick over. A little scrum half kick. Emmett's the only one back there currently. He does have a little bit of time, but the floor is slippery. Hopefully he doesn't slip out. Ooh, here we go. He's moving. One juke. Just needs someone there. Two felled. No one there. San Diego State ball there quickly. Over. Ball has been lost, though. Great work by Cal Poly. Low pass off the foot. Ooh, Not a bad tackle the at tackle. all. There was oh, nice break by potential Steele. dump tackle here. Puts a kick on. That's right. Back at his pace. Nice play. Nice play. One of the fastest forwards you'll ever see there. Ooh, Tackles ball. him as he's about to kick it. It's going to be San Diego State's line out. Andrew Mosquito definitely a little gas there. That was a lot of effort there. San Diego State themselves hands on head. But that's something they should be proud of. Absolutely. That was a bunch of hard work. Joey trying to motivate their players. Cal Poly. Falling off onto the back foot a little bit, but they're in a comfortable spot. There's nothing for them to really worry about. They just need to go through their techniques, focus on their follow through, get some defensive practice in. Let's see what San Diego State can muster here. This is one of those games where it really is Ooh, defined by great front, throw, Murphy. defined by how you finish off a game. Taken by Braden. Oh, Ooh. knocked on yes. from the pass. Yeah, if we're going to blame a little bit of the weather. Absolutely. Some rain in the air. Oh, attempted Ooh. kick. It's faked, actually. Here we are. If I'm this individual, I'm oh, oh behind nice the back switch. flick. With pace, that was a great line. Two on one situation, but he has the legs. He decides to pass it. Very unselfish. Oh, Emmett not able to make the tackle, and that is a beautiful play. Try that's Cal right, Hall. that's right. I believe that is the outside center again who does kick a ton. That might be a hat trick for him. That was some beautiful back play by Cal Poly. From my personal experience of playing Cal Poly and seeing them play throughout the years, this cowbell, sensational addition to our commentary. The backs themselves are sensational at Cal Poly. Throughout the years, that's been their main focus, not to dissuade themselves from their forward game, but those backs. Really making it look beautiful. That was a clinic just now. San Diego State rocking a person below that it's always going to be difficult. The rain now is starting to come down a little more. That is correct. This weather is getting a bit ugly. Does not deter the fans, though. We have a fair number of fans. Oh. That ball is high. It's going to be to the right. It is no good. On to Centennial Walkway. That's right. Cal Poly making the majority of their kicks. Only missing two today. Something they can take great pride in. And that was a difficult kick as well. San Diego State once again marching forward off of the try. They look really excited to play which is something that you don't often hear with a gap this wide, but there's not much that they should be ashamed of right now. They are playing their hardest, 
and that needs to be celebrated. Here we go. San Diego State needed to close in a little bit because there are a few gaps. Yeah, that was noted. There should have been an obstruction call, though. Sure. Referee didn't think anything of it, though. That's all right. Slightly offsides bumps by San Diego State. Another kick over. Yep, staying inbound straight to Max. Looking for a kick option. Nice little chip kick as well. But now Cal Poly has an option. They have the win on their back. That kick is going to go out wide, and it's probably going to go out of bounds. Oh, out on the full. Yeah, that's right. Means we're going to get ourselves a... Oh, no, it looks like it bounced inside. Referee says oh, yeah, otherwise. Out on the full, yeah. We are going to have ourselves a line out right over here. Well, the one thing to note there, I think, why that, was so that kick was unsuccessful by State is after the kick, no one had chased. No yes. one had began behind Max. And he himself so did not all, chase. Yeah, they were all offside, so yeah. there was nothing they could do there. Yep, there was not a lot of oomph behind that kick as well. The ball just kind of fell back to earth very quickly. If I'm San Diego State, I want to hang that ball up in the air and possibly give a good contest. Instead of a line-out, we are electing to do a scrum for reasons I cannot know, just besides healthy communication between coaches. They are communicating with each other right now, showing a lot of love and respect for each other. And that's really healthy. You want to see teams do that, even in an intense rivalry. We're going out the back. There is a gap. Bobby taking this ball in, crashing in, wanting to avoid the out-of-bounds, going down quickly so that the ball can come out quickly as well. Joey running in. He's a little alone. Hopefully he stays up quickly. Good clear out. Ball's on the ground. Oh, almost with a good pickup. Joey getting up a little slow. We are looking to have the counter option on Tyler. Beautiful hair. Looking like a young lion. Not many, not, yeah, not many back for Cal Poly. That's you right, yeah. SSU would notice that. Oh, Ooh, slight knock on. Offload. No knock on call, though. That's all right. Now Cal Poly, I guess they yep. heard me notice that there was no That's back. Right. Yeah, for, sure. a, for a couple phases there, it was just the fullback sitting in the middle. Exactly. Of the park. Yeah, Cal Poly is up once again in defenders. They have 15 players versus San Diego State's 14. So there's no reason why they need to have such a strong defensive line. Good oh, offload. Beautiful. One more. Oh, Ooh, not the best of offloads. And unfortunately, this time the referee is going to call a knock on. We're going to go to an uncontested scrum to Cal Poly. You get the sense that there is energy flowing through SDSU right yeah. now. Yeah, both teams seem to be having fun right now. They're letting that ball fly, and with only a few knock-ons, it's significantly less than you'll see with some other teams that do try to attempt this. So both sides have some stuff to celebrate. Cal Poly should tighten up their defense, though, because San Diego State was definitely fighting gaps. Let's see what can be had here when this ball comes out. Ball is coming out to the right. We're going deep first and foremost with an inside pop. Cal Poly going down kind of easily. It's a little strange there. Referee checking to make sure offsides is not a thing oh. here. Good strong run now. Oh, ripped ball back. Ripped away. Picked up by the prop, Kellen Murphy. Ooh, that looks a little interesting. Tell you they, what, for a prop, Kellen Murphy's got quite the motor. Ooh, that's right. Yes, by Tyler. certainly agree. He comes from a football background. Picked up by Andrew Mosqueda. Oof. Those tip tackles can be dangerous. Coming in from the side from San Diego State, referee doesn't see it. That's okay. Chip over. That's right. Cal Poly looking to mount some pressure. Very good run by the Mustang. Quick forward ball for Cal Poly. It's going to then go out wide to the back so you can see them mounting the idea right now. They do not they have do the number, have the San Diego numbers. State. Easy gap was found. We're just going to run straight oh, in. Big tackle. Yep. Big tackle hit. Tackle made by Max Conahey. That's right. Slow to get up. Yep, and that is very risky. We don't want to see that at all. Those kinds of hits. Very powerful hit by the lock for Cal Poly. Straight into the now fullback. That is Max Conahey. Anytime a forward runs into a back. That can be dangerous. That can be scary. You got to give Max props, though, for yep. making that tackle, sticking in. Yep. There was no fear shown at all by Max Conahey. Max. Definitely rang his bell a little bit. Yeah, Max, of course, with a very extensive rugby uh, resume going back all the way to U9s. That's right. A lot of respect towards this referee as well. The moment you see any sort of possible head injury, you should blow the whistle 
at all levels. Uh, player safety is paramount. Referee's just going to bring the captains in. Talking about how the intensity is getting a little high, boys. Let's probably see if we can stay composed. You know, the game's a little bit of a wash at this point. Let's simply enjoy ourselves, come out here safely, make sure everything's okay. Players say, I understand. You have a good day, sir. Max looks to be okay. Just got his bell rung. That's right. Once again, though, player safety, top priority. Time back on. We're going to have ourselves a scrum towards Cal Poly, who did bring it in. That is what happens whenever the referee does blow the whistle to stop time for injuries. It's going to generally be a scrum for the team that did create possession or had possession. Once again, San Diego State playing down a man in their backfield. It's always going to provide problems if Cal Poly can execute that properly. Here we are. Ball is out. They're looking to do some switches around the back. Ball's a little high. Ooh. Ooh. Kept in that play, is though. is a legal play. Inside pop. Cal Poly just having fun with it. Great play by Cal Poly. San Diego State, not much that you can do there. You are down a man once again. Even if you work your hardest, a well-planned attack is always going to win. Great play by Cal Poly. Hopefully we can get ourselves a little bit of a look. It's going to be a quick and easy little chip by the Cal Poly center. Looking to increase his percentage once again after his previous miss. Nice and simple and straightforward. Cal Poly only further mounting their lead. But San Diego State still has life. Once again, that's something you really want to see. No one is walking on that field as they get back to that line. Both sides resigned to the fact of what's happening here. Cal Poly has a lot that they can take out of this, and they should be very proud of how they played San Diego State themselves. Things that they can obviously build upon. But with such few players, there's only so much one can do. Exactly. Yep, along with battling with injury. Throughout today's game. That's right. Nice yep, it was almost a 50 22. Emmett with the nice counter reverse. kick. Sensational. Like no one chasing. Yep. And unfortunately, because no one chased after. SSU was offside. That's right. A few of the SSU players who were moving up were, in fact, offsides. That is an issue that they should probably work on next week. Hopefully, they do. Just a little bit of miscommunication between all the teams. Here we are, kick out of bounds, Cal Poly's line out. It's going to allow them once again to practice some sort of line out techniques, possibly a mall. If I'm San Diego State, though, I don't want to contest this mall. You do not have to. Hopefully they realize this. Referee does not like the gap. Wants both sides to widen a little bit. San Diego State just trying to make it as competitive as possible without getting penalized, of course. You always try to edge the law. That's right. Push the boundaries a little bit if you're a player, especially forward. See what the referee's going to call or Good not. Good line out. Yep. Quick kick over the top. Chase Honestly, a little high. Great chase, though. Ooh, Ooh off the chest. Player. Shouldn't it be a knock on. Great spin move by Max Conahay. Here we are, San Diego State Ooh. tipped off the kick. Ball is kept in play. Cal Poly wants that to play a little a bit open. Short advantage for the knock on. Right before the goal line, San Diego State needs to close in. Yep, pick and go. Oh, Great work by Kellen, Kellen, the prop to force him backwards. 
But once again, you need to get hot. You need to get low. And yep, that secondary effort by Cal Poly. Really making it look easy. San Diego State needs to get lower if you're in that pillar position so close to the try line. Yep, once again, just a quick and easy chip. Very consistent by this kicker. Just a few more minutes left. Cal Poly being very clinical. Making it look very easy. It is quite easy for them right now. San Diego State cannot let that fire die out within themselves, though. Up until the final whistle, they need to keep playing with tempo, with enthusiasm, with integrity as well. Really hoping there's, like we talked about in the first half, a few, a few of the leaders can reset the boys. Because we saw in the first half, all it took was one big hit, one big play, and San Diego State was activated again. Let's see if they're able to make it happen before time runs out here. Short little kick. Right. Funny bounces that provides an opportunity for San Diego State. Ball presented. That's right. Quick little forward Ooh. ball inside pop. Ow. I noticed Cal Poly's been trying those a lot more that in was the second half. Not, yep. Cal Poly's having fun with it. They're being easy. They're testing out higher level ideas. Tackle made. Ball is down. They're going to go out to the backs, presumably. Hop option was available. San Diego State needs to bump out wide. That scrum half's just a few steps behind. There is a knock on now. It is going to be an uncontested scrum to San Diego State if the referee blows the whistle. He's giving them the advantage. That's right. That's all right with us. Plays it out to Joey. Let's pop inside the Here Aiden. we go. Beautiful. Great tackle made. San Diego State, though, has momentum. Good. Here we go. Gaps are Drummond presentable. He is running alone. Now that's right. Gets there. Good job staying up before. The support, when the support was there. That's a little bit of a late hit. We're still playing through it, though. San Diego State mounting a good attack. Phases are falling forward. A little slow coming that's out of That's right. Rug. Yeah, Mosa does not play a super comfortable scrum half, and that's okay. It's not his traditional role. Good tackle there by, San Diego, by nice. Cal Poly. Doing his best to buy himself time. That's on the right. Ground. An extra role. Should here be an we intentional are. Knock. San Diego State moving a little bit backwards here. Now yeah, ball, ball has been lost. They are penalized for being offsides, though. San Diego State should simply get the ball in their hand, do a quick tap and go. They're going to go yeah. to the left hand side. Give it to their There's a ball. lot of space. Braden wants to take it in once again. Ball has been stolen by Cal Poly. Great job. Now they're working the weak side. That's right. Braden himself Ooh, seems a little bit side. hurt. I'll tell you what, when you're one man down, you got to do a lot more tackling. That's right. That's right. It is a lot of work. It is not enjoyable. San Diego State needs to get some people moved out to the right. They got lucky that the scrum half wanted to go oh, the other way. There's a knock, knock on. on. He saw me make intense eye contact with him. He got a little intimidated. I'm sorry about that. Here we go. We're going to go to an uncontested scrum here for San Diego State. You can give yourself a little too much credit there, bud. <laughs> I'd gotten really enthused with the game. Braden being a little touches with his head. Let's see what San Diego's able to mount here. Once again, we're slowly running out of time for San Diego State, so let's really try to make something positive here. Ball is out. Cal Poly's being nice, not being too competitive in that atmosphere. Passed out to Ben. Beautiful moves. Oh. Emmett with side by Emmett. ball in hand. He's small and fast and able to make some stuff happen. Capali had their hands in the ball, but San Diego State was able to clear him out. Aiden with a strong run. Forced down. San Diego State needs to get those Rutgers there a little bit quicker if they can. 
passed out wide. Braden had outside support. Alexa to take it in once again. It has been stolen. The penalty was... Coming in from the side. That's right. Another quick pop by number 10, Christian Sinclair. Yep. Taken in by Moza. There we are. Senio State just a half step behind from Ooh, being able to make something happen. Joey, that see. ball must have been a little wet. Joey does not usually drop a ball. San Diego State now facing some defense. Cal Poly having the option to really either do a set piece back play or simply when they get that ball in hand, go for a nice little chip kick or possibly deep 50-22 option. Their kicks have been sensational. It looks like they're going to elect to first take it out. Nice little double tackle there. Yep, great Saw carry. Mosey, Moza wrap around his arm, make sure he doesn't have the That's uh, off right. ability. That's right. Bouncing off the kid's chest there. He should probably do a little bit less of chest day, work on catching the ball a little bit more. San Diego State with momentum. They're going oh, forward. There's a line break. Oh, that Taka. is Taka, the scrum Good half. Going to try to dot it as close as he can down the middle. Great work by well, that, Taka. That was absolutely beautiful yep. counter attack from SCSU. We There's talked about no that. Quit in this team. That's right. And Taka himself, in my opinion, most hard on the team. Visiting us from Japan, he is in there day and night. One of the first people at practice, one of the last people out of practice. That right there is demonstrated by what he was able to create there, just from a small break opportunity. And what you like to see from SSU there is they're still confident in their play. They're still doing the offloads. They haven't been deterred from playing their style of rugby. Whether down by the big score, or one man down, to see that is very, it's something you can build on. Yeah, they are definitely tired, but they're still enthused. They're not broken, and that's something that is a lot that can be said for this club that is struggling right now with numbers, with injuries. It's been a tough day for them, and I don't know how much time is left currently, but there is a lot that can be celebrated there in that Max Conaghy with the kick. It is a bit to the right. Ten points for San Diego State. A lot for Cal Poly. Here we go, Cal Poly with the kickoff. Looking to really finish on a high note. They finished the first half with a few penalties that did end up into a Ball taken by Bobby. Score. Taken. Good take by the winger. Ball taken in by Tyler. Yep, good ball control. There was an offload option there. If he elected, he decided to take it in. Oh, another Andrew Mosquito finding a line break. Oh, break he does have tackle. support as He's well. Taka again, oh, too fast. really extending his legs. Oh, is chased down. Yep, that was a little high, but Taka is very small, so that is understandable. Should have gotten that ball out to the right-hand side. Joey electing to take it up in. They still have numbers outright. This ball's coming out slow. It needed to come out quicker. Taken by the prop, That's Kellen. right. Kellen with the pick and go. We are attacking the left-hand side. Cal Poly is swarming, so is San Diego State. They're right on the goal line. Cal Poly needed to get lower. Instead, they're being forced backwards. Oh. Ball has been lost. That is unfortunate. Knock on advantage now for Cal Poly. They're going to take this ball out. Oh. There's a kick option available. Very Never mind. Taking out from the try line. Tipped out from the side. Yeah, now okay. we're going to kick this ball down the line. Oh, what a beautiful kick. Sensational kept, kick from Cal Poly. Kept it in bounds and then was That's able to right. Out. San Diego State going quickly, though. <laughs> Sense a little frustration by San Diego State yep, there. Yeah, certainly. Not on the same page. Max Conaghy trying to play it quick. Christian Sinclair wanting to work through the forwards and the line out. Yeah. I personally resonate with Max Conaghy. Um, there's not a ton of time left. Let's just play an open style form of rugby. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah. This, this game's essentially sealed. Let's have fun with it. Um, I do recognize Christian's perspective, though. Let's let the, these forwards... Some of them are on the younger side. Get some extra reps, get some added experience in the lineout. Here we go. Cal Poly able to get their hands in front. Big, strong run by that number four. We know what he can do. He gets tackled out of, out of bounds. bounds. 
But if I'm Cal Poly, I just gained 20 meters. And once again, it's another line out to San Diego State. Just jump right in front. Unless San Diego State proceeds to change something. That's something they need to think about right now. They were able to get a little bit in front. It was tipped by Cal Poly to the back. Their backs are now mounting an attack. They have the numbers. Oh, they're nine playing in the center. That's right. Now gotten it down. Very easy by Cal Poly. It, once again, extremely difficult if you're down a man in the back line by San Diego State. There's very little that they could have done. The ball is always going to move faster than the player that is running. Here we go with the kick. Now previously the center did miss from this angle. Almost the exact same location. Let's see if he's able to make something happen this time. Looking pretty good, good follow through. That kick is straight down the line. And the referee deems it as game. That is it for us, San Diego State with a lot to be improved upon. Hopefully they can get some players back. Hopefully they can avoid injury, and hopefully those players who were injured are able to work past that. Cal Poly, a lot to celebrate here. They made everything look very smooth, very professional. A few issues with penalties, but they looked like a great top 25 contender. And that is from us. My name is Seth. My coworker, Saeed. Thank you for having me today, Saeed. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us. Final score, 87 to 10, Cal Poly. Thank you. You have yourselves a great day now. Bye-bye.